All right, quick rundown of the off-grid setup. Five kilowatts of solar, five kilowatts of solar, total of 10. Outdoor wood boiler, bought off the Amish for a thousand bucks. Wind turbine, two kilowatts an hour. Missouri wind and solar. Wood boiler. All right, this is still from last night. I haven't put one on here yet, so kept the house warm. She's up to temperature still, 174, it's set to 173. I'm gonna put one more log on, that'll get me through the day. This gives us hot water and in-floor heat. There's one log. Check back later, I'll show you the video of me doing this. So, close her up. Okay, this runs everything, that 10 kilowatts of solar. We are completely off-grid. Be hard to process big wood without a tractor, but you know, costs. It's gonna be a solar powered tiny house at bus. Here's some wood, I'm processing it. Chop it up, independence. No one can shut off my heat. No one can shut off my power. My water is pumped from a well with the sun. So, in we go. It's not a very nice day out, pretty cloudy, but here. Oh, some solar parts. So right now, well, we're pulling 13 amps, 12 amps right now. We're not even charging yet. We were this morning, but the laundry's on. Turned this rig off this morning. It ran all night, had 600 watts. Oh, video editing. This rig's still running, set to 600 watts. This is where the boiler heat enters the house. That's the heat exchanger. Goes to all the in-floor heat, super efficient. I'm just running it with Inkbird differential temperature controllers, Wi-Fi, you can control everything when I'm not home. Oh, there's another miner. This one's set to a thousand watts an hour right now. So I'll turn that one on once the sun comes up. When 10,000 watts an hour are coming in, it's not, it's nothing to run 2,200 watts of mining equipment. These are the homemade batteries, homebrew. These are cylindrical cells, LifePo. 4, 48 volt. These are actually 90 amp hour. I just said 100 for easy math. That's uh, prismatic. That one's actually 100 amp hour. I just laser cut aluminum bus bars, screwed the thing together. Wires go off to a battery management system that controls charge. That one's at a quarter. These guys here, there's four 100 watt, or sorry, 100 amp hour, 48 volt batteries. So it's 51.2 nominal voltage is 48. They'll go as high as 56, 57 volts. There's some more homebrew batteries. Those ones have touch screens to go over all the parameters. Those ones are still pretty full. Those ones are running the house right now. There's a stack of homebrew batteries. And there's my mess of fucking shit, man. I wire up different inverters and charge controllers all the time. So I can make this clean and nice. But anyways, there's the wind coming in right there. Solar comes in right there. It's bulk charging right now, running the house with solar. Inverter. Yeah. Oh, there's the well. Normal panel. Just ours is powered with that. Okay, there's the video. Hope all is well. Take care.